All right, coming up next is the box jump. So step one is you want to make sure that you are using a box that is the right height. They typically come in 20, 24, or 30. Um, you can stack later on when you get super skilled. But you're going to start with your box. You want to start a little bit away, okay? And when you start a little bit away, you're going to lean back, right? So you're going to push back. You want to feel the load come into your hamstrings, your glutes. You want to feel them get nice and tight. And when you hop, is you want to bring your knees up, right? So you're bringing the knees high. That's step one. Step two is when you land, you want to land wide, and you want to land soft like a cat, right? Soft like a kitty. You don't want to stomp down, you don't want your feet narrow. And you also want to think almost like you're trying to hop over the box to get high up. Okay, so I'm loading, I hop, and I land soft and wide. Step down, you don't have to hop down. You can if you want, but again, you can also use your arms to help with momentum, right? So bring them forward, like so. All right, now one thing you don't want to do is think too much. You'll psych yourself out, and that's how you bang your shins or go for it. That'll happen, right? Once you've set and cued, turn the brain off and hop. Just like so. That right there is your box jump.